G'day! In today's video, we've got the ROG Strix G731G. Gonna upgrade it to a 2TB NVMe and hopefully install 32GB of DDR4 PC2666. There is PC2200, uh, but the processor in this one, I don't think it's gonna even utilize the faster memory. So that if you can get some cheaper memory, might be very well worthwhile going down that path. Here's the mo exact model number so you guys know. We have the G713, uh, G731 GT-AU002T. So to begin with, go ahead and take that bottom cover off, which means taking off all these screws that we can see. And I'll let you know if they are of any length as we go through. I'm gonna assume the screws nearest to the back of the computer are gonna be longer. Ooh, it's already changed my mind. The longer screws have been the two back corners. Outer edge. You know. So it's going to be longer too. Yep. And these ones across here are going to be smaller, I will assume. This one over here actually stayed in and started to lift it. Ooh, random customer's phone. That one just released as well. So, little, little, big, 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 little, 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 little. Let's move these screws out of the way now. I already tell them I need to give this a dust blow out before I proceed. Hopefully. Excellent, that's just popping up, which is convenient. Okay. Ooh, we just had a cable disconnect. There's another one over here. Luckily for me, that's done no damage. Luckily for you guys, you just learnt that. Now, if I flick up the white bit on the tab. No. Which way are we going to go? Yep, the white bit lifts up. And then the cable should be able to be disconnected from there. From here, I'm going to disconnect the battery by pulling this silver bit out and then lifting up and then from there we can see RAM an empty slot of RAM so now I'm going to go give this a dust blowout those fans are not healthy more than likely the bearings in these are shot and probably need to be have to get it back to optimal performance the fan replaced maybe even the cooler because that is nicotine So, if I have a look here, this should pull out, and what do we got? We have some 2666, 16 gig. So I won't need to be able, need to use both of these, which means a cheaper upgrade for the customer. And also, it's running at the same speed of the cheaper RAM that was purchased. So, excellent. This is going to get a bit more of a performance boost also, not just from the more RAM, but having both RAM slots occupied, which means this game should run, the memory will now run in dual channel mode, which in turn I'd probably expect a video game frame rate lift boost or uplift, probably about 10%, which 10% on a laptop can be the difference between a playable game and a non-playable game, especially with us upgrading the RAM. To install this, I can pretty much pull or if I line this up over the top on a slight angle, there are some pins just along here and this little notch there. What I have to do is line it up over the top like so. It should just be able to kind of spring and bounce and just pull it down. And it should click into position like so. That's all you need to do regarding the RAM. That's all we need to do. 
If the RAM's physically installed and it's compatible, it's just going to go. Next up, if I go over to the NVMe drive, which is here, and under here, and possibly under some more. Sadly, this has only got one NVMe drive, so we'll have to clone it after I replace the drive. I'll be booting up a USB uh, cloning software, a Cronus True image, or you can just do a fresh reinstall of Windows 10 or 11, whatever you prefer. Also, we do have the Wi-Fi card hidden under there, which I did not expect. Capacity of this one, we we'll take this off. We may or may not see. Ooh, is a we got an Intel 60, 660p, 512 gig. So this will be getting a considerable storage upgrade. Put that off to the side for now. I'm using a verbatim VI 3000. This one speed's not too bad. I don't think this would take full advantage of it. I think this may be a PCI Gen 4 drive off the top of my head. <coughs> But either way, <clears throat> the storage capacity is going to be a very nice upgrade. Installation of this is very similar to RAM. Pull the tap back, it will only fit one way. Basically slides along parallel, clicks in, then pushes down. Then from there, put the Phillips head screw back in. That's now installed. Now the tricky bit is either reinstalling Windows onto that or cloning from your old drive to your new drive, which is a task that I won't do in this video. If we go back to the battery here, we'll reconnect the battery, which should be a matter of pushing it down and then sliding that silver tab forward. There we go. That's now done. Next up from there is putting the back cover back on, or the bottom cover, and its clips. One here, one over here. With the clip in the up position, what I should be able to do, hopefully a pair of tweezers, is wrap it around and feed, feed it in. It should have to go into that little blue, or that little Round bit, and then pull the tab down. And that should lock it in position. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, sorry. We go over here and do this very same thing over here. Fold it over, slide it in, pull the tab down. That should be it. Next up, I should be able to fold the cover back over. Fold this back over itself. There we go. And make sure the back's over first. Should be able to pinch that. Most of it should kind of click and crunch it back into position. There we go. Next up will be these screws. Big ones, back corner. Smaller one. Another one here. Another long screw in the corner over here. Another one here. And then nearly on the home stretch. Big one in the middle. Big one over here. And tighten up the screw at the front. Another screw here. Into there. Another one here. There's plastic, plastic clicking together. There we go. 
So I hope that helps with your upgrade on your ROG Strix G731. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.